What's up guys and gals, my name is Splattercat and we are here with the next episode of RimWorld and this should be a fun one. I think this may be the episode in which we expire. In the previous episode we had really kind of had our first set of struggles. Why are my batteries all drained? I don't think I had a conduit explosion anywhere. What happened here? What has occurred? Are they filling up at a reasonable rate? Because if they don't, that's going to be very, very bad. Our rate shall be limited and I don't like to function inside the confines of a limited rate. Believe you me. I should probably just get rid of these flower pots. It seems like they're spending a silly amount of time just filling up flower. Eh, I'll probably just not put any in any of the new rooms from now on. I like the way they look now. You gotta trick people. In the previous episode, so it's kind of a recap. The game has been a little bit rough on us. We've got a bunch of people who have... Why are you idle? I've given you... I'm so frustrated right now. Why is none of my debris being hauled? I want... Do it now. Please. I do not know why... That is the strangest thing. Why is the slag debris not being hauled? You guys probably told me in the video previous to this, but I bulk record, so unfortunately I won't be privy to that. Well, that's a little bit of a problem because I really don't want this around anymore. Strange. Very, very... They hold the rocks, but they've yet to haul out... The slag, they're going idle instead. The Brown Bear Export Company. That's how you name a company right there. Brown Bear Exports. Well, we come to you. Do you like family businesses? We here at Brown Bear like to believe that when we sell metal, we do it with a flair for the panache that simply isn't found in your common spacefaring person any longer. We come from a simpler time. We've also got a combat supplier, which I didn't know about. That's kind of cool. Pleasant surprise there. Sell off some of these guns, put them up over here, and do we have any pistolas left? Yeah, we do. We have a bunch of pistols left. Okay. God, we have so many guns. I need so many combat suppliers right now just to get rid of all these. I've heard that the incendiary launchers are absolutely ridiculous if you use them properly, so that's something we may investigate later. There we go. A bit more money to them, and let's actually just get rid of the pistols while we're here because I want to make room in my stockpile and it seems like we have a lot of pistols and if I can get rid of if I can get more space using up less of my own time or I'm sorry if I can get more space with the limited amount of money that he has I'll probably do that brown bear industrial thanks you for your business you have bought our metal and that's pretty sweet of you we find that to be just swell let's see here Oh, combat supply I don't need you I need brown bear exports who is now going to sell me his metal from a simpler time. Oh, I've overshot. You don't have enough money for that now, son. There you are. Fantastic. Now we've gotten ourselves even more metal. How could this get any better? We just got so much metal laying around. This is great. I love not having money and having tons of metal because money is sort of useless. It's like, hey, you could buy more metal. Oh, why are you going crazy? You're outside, in the sunlight, being happy. Walk on some carpet. There you go. That'll fix you right up. I knew that'd fix him right up. All we gotta do is walk on some carpet for a little while. He's also probably seen like 700 corpses. Because we did assign them to move around. Yeah, it's the dead guys. It's all the dirt guys. All of the dead dudes making everybody go insane. There's also a boom rat who appears to have infiltrated our minds. He's gonna find the main support strut and blow up next to it. And we're just like, Why? Why? Kill me. And it's going to be very, very bad. You blow my support structure. It's going to get a little bit hectic. I wish that I could get by like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Whenever he does lines, he totally... Look at that. He self-destructed. What? Saboteur, sir. Saboteur. We're not going to get there by the time of the... Oh. Apparently, he just put it out with the magic of his mind because he wanted to haul him back to the butcher's table and eat him. Um, nom, 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 nom. He just ate it raw. Oh, that's because I turned... That's... Oops. My bad. I don't know. Make like 25 meals. I don't, actually, never mind. Just put it up there forever. I'm sure it'll be fine. It'll be perfectly fine. Yeah, yeah. God, this is just the day. This is the day for just random... Just random tomfoolery because there's mental break coming soon. I don't think it is. I don't think it is. I mean, it could be. Oh, 
damn it. I don't need this right now, too. I don't need this right now. You better recover. Why are you so unhappy? Observed 17 corpses. Dear God. Get away from the corpses, you idiot. Okay, corpse hauling was the worst plan ever. Yep, two went crazy. Oh, don't shoot at her, you moron. What are you doing? Oh my god, you idiot. Don't know. What the hell is wrong with you? You dropped on your head or something? Jesus. There we go. Knock her out, bring her back. We'll capture her. Stop punching her while she's on the ground. There we go. All better. My colonists are not known for their incredible intellect. They, unfortunately, are quite stupid, in fact. I don't... Hauling corpses in the mid-game. What did we learn? Don't do it, is what we learned. God. And people run around just losing their minds because they're like, I've been hauling bodies for so long. Observed 17 dead bodies. That's all it takes, huh? That's all it takes. That definitely, I feel like that's a little bit buggy and needs to be kind of adjusted. Like, don't make that stack. Just observed corpses. I don't think seeing, like, five corpses is any different. Like, five twisted up, busted ass, kind of bloated corpses. Yeah, not so bad. I mean, I think the first corpse is really the one that's just like, oh, God, that's a dead guy. And so from there on out, I think that's your point of consideration. We'll probably get some raiders pretty soon. I mean, things have been bad. Things have been real bad for us. And so there's your 22 stack. Oh my god. That is incredible. I probably should have just disabled those for hauling. That probably would have been the much better... Yeah. Probably should... <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Freedy's going crazy too. Freedy, stop. Just go do whatever the hell you want to do. I don't mind. Just be yourself. Go eat yourself a meal. Sit on down. Have a sleep on some carpet. Everybody loves sleeping on carpet. Especially felines. Felines enjoy that sunspot on the carpet more than anything you could ever know. I enjoyed a good sunspot on the carpet when I was a kid, too. I used to just black out in the middle of the floor in a sunspot. Just like, nah. But then you would have, like, a weird square-shaped tan. Or, like, a square-shaped sunburn. Funny, funny stuff. I always get nervous when the wind blows because I feel as though something terrible is going to happen. It's very foreboding. That's always how I feel about it. It's incredibly foreboding when the wind starts to blow. With two, we need to make sure that... Did we swap her over as a prisoner? Yeah, recruit her back if you can. Can't afford to lose anybody else right now. As far as the mental breaks go... Not much I can do about that there. So we're back to making meals. I tried to disable it. I wish that it had a little feature in it that would put a threshold, like, make these until you have 25, and then I shall stop. And ne'er again shall we do it. Let's go to the research bin. Maybe we should do some research or something right now. I mean, we only have nutrient resynthesis and fear tech remaining, but fear tech might be useful. We might be able to put, like, some cages or something around. A local boom rat has gone cray-cray, and raiders have also landed. Enjoyable. How deliciously lovely. And this could be it, as far as our survival goes. The last time, we tried a strategy where we grenaded people, and it worked out pretty well. But on the opposite side of that, it ended up getting the guy killed because they focus-fired him super hard. Let's go ahead and equip the frag, the frag grenades now. Alpine is over here fist-fighting a boom rat. running away? Or has it just like reselected another target? I'm a little confused as to what the boom rat is doing right now. Oh, it wants cross. Now it's like, I want you. Oh no, it wants Freedy. Freedy apparently looked more delicious than our last guy did. Did somebody just throw a grenade or did they just pick up a grenade? Okay. Just don't throw a grenade. She's running around. I'm in the rain. Oh my God. The rain is on fire too. What else could go wrong? 
This time, I think I'm going to try and be sneaky and put them right here with the grenades and throw that way. See if that works out a little bit better. We are down a guy, and this is bad. We could definitely use a little bit of help here. Okay, so the raiders are beginning their assault. Let's go ahead and is Freedy my new grenadier? Who is my new grenadier? I don't recall who it was. Oh, it was Cross. Okay, so we'll put him right there. Everybody else... Will, obviously, you're not a fighter, so we don't need you to do anything. Let's turn the turrets on, too, before I forget. And you know what? Let's put as many people as we can next to turrets so that when they blow up, we all die. No, don't do that. I guess just kind of hang out in here or something. There we go. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to babysit Cross. Yeah, the grenade idea is terrible. So apparently they've implemented some type of AI that does the same thing that I do and just really tries not to... I would also point out that we are incredibly boned right now. It's unfortunate. Who's remaining? So, rescue Semyon. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think that strategy works because they focus fire too quickly. I think the game's got some kind of algorithm or some kind of programming that makes it select, like, the biggest, scariest person. And because the game knows internally that grenades are overpowered, it focuses on grenade people first, too. I mean, the ultimate solution here would just be nerf grenades because they're way too powerful. They do insane amounts of damage. Like, I think they should be able to kill people in one hit. Don't get me wrong. I think that that's fine because that's perfectly realistic. Like, a grenade kills a human being if it lands right next to him. But they need to nerf the effectiveness of them versus turrets, I think. Let's see here. Oh, well, there it is. <laughs> that is not what I want. But yeah, we're on our way out. I would be very, very surprised if we survive the next episode, if not this one. Because we're down to, what, six people now? I don't even think there's enough people to get the work done that's just around anymore. Forgot to turn time on. I have that power. I am Alex Straza. Is that the one? Is that the dragon that controlled power? I think it... Or, I'm sorry. The dragon that controlled time? I think it was Alex Straza. Anyways. That was always one of those weird subtexts of World of Warcraft that I didn't ever, ever like, knew the storyline of. I just knew that if the dragon was kind of glowy and, like, bluish, it probably controlled time or something. I don't know. How does a dragon learn to control time anyways? Like, how does that happen? It seems overpowered. Controlling time really does seem like one of those things that would be... Actually, it would depend if you have paradoxes or not. Because if you've got different, like... If you've got different realities, then changing time really doesn't matter at all. You're just like, eh, you can change something in the past and the future. It's just like, whatever, because the alternate possibility still exists. I don't know. I'm talking outside of my field right now. That's one of those things that, like, once you have... Or I guess once you've studied science, like, one of the big things is that, like, you try not to talk outside your field, like, ever, because it always backfires on you. It never goes well. Anytime you try and talk outside your field about anything, like, theoretical or anything like that, it always backfires. And then there's always going to be, like, that physicist in the corner of the room is just like, you're talking outside your field. And you're like, nah, I challenge you to talk about rocks. And they'll be like, rocks are dumb. And that's just the way it goes. I would like for two to come back because we could use the extra labor. It appears as though we've got... God. This is bad. This is really bad. We lost a lot of people on that last one when the turrets blew up. We lost a couple people. Unfortunately. We lost Will as well, who wasn't even engaged in the combat. That was all me managing improperly. I'm not going to try and blame that on anybody else. I shouldn't have had people take cover by the turrets. And it's like the battles play out so rapidly that sometimes it's difficult to adapt to anything that's happening anyways. Let's make sure that we get the metal wall back in. And we'll put the turrets back in so that maybe we survive another round. Got another collapse right there. So I'm going to have a miner get rid of that wall. And it appears to have collapsed perfectly on my conduits. Sandbag wise, we'll put in some more sandbags. Clean up the room a smidge. 
Still not sure why they're not hauling debris. I have a debris stockpile, and they actually, you saw it. You guys, oh, they're starving, too. That's even better. Wait, what? Oh, Freedy's starving because I left her in combat mode. That's always a good way to run your business. Great. Well, I expect her to be completely and totally crazy by morning. Make sure that everything is powered down. Raiders have landed nearby. Oh my god. What? Already? It's only been like a day. Oh my. Yeah, so I think this might be our last episode. But we'll play it out. I won't save spam or do anything cheesy. Oh, and a solar flare has begun. That's even worse. Yeah, this is the end. I don't see a whole lot of... They're all going to go crazy anyways, especially if they keep hauling bodies. So maybe disable these... Little peckers over here so that they're not causing us any harm. I mean, they're already, like, seen body 700 every single time they walk through the front room, so I guess it's probably too late for that now, but... Oh, really? They're starting their assault already? All we can do is hope that the flare ends. I mean... I suppose put people in behind cover as best we can. I mean, this is it right here. This is the end, unfortunately. It's okay, though. I showed off enough RimWorld to make me happy. Actually, let's remove their advantage right now. If I had a grenade... We might be able to accomplish this a little bit better. But yeah, I... I don't know. He's just <laughs> grenading his own guy. There we, go. we fight in the hallway. We fight in the halls. The final stand. This is it, guys. This is our moment. Our moment of triumph. We will ride. Let us ride together and die together. That's the sound that I imagine they're all making right now. Oh no, we're all on fire. Our last stand. Our last stand has been found to be very, very susceptible to immolation. Oh man. I thought we were going to make it too. We were looking good. Squirrel, stop being on fire. I command you. Do it, squirrel. This is it. This is your moment of glory. He's standing in the hallway right now, just like, uh, hands up in the sky, platoon style, just, uh, just blood splattering everywhere. That's how I'm envisioning it in my head, but that's the end. So that was New Guapington. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle. All of our people are either burning to death or otherwise dead already. I was, I like this series. It was fun. I don't know if I'll do another one just because I'm going to do the exact same thing and it's not going to be that entertaining. But I will see you guys in the next episode of whatever it is that we decide to play. Take care out there, everybody.